okay welcome uh, in my seventh vid video in YouTube comment prediction tutorial series using machine learning so in this video we are going to uh, to see the structure of our Flask web app whereby we will deploy our machine learning model so uh, as I told you before in a previous tutorial that we will use PyCharm so let me remind you of some few things we learned in our previous video uh, in our previous video we learned how to dump a model in the disk and how to load it but in this video we are going to create uh, some project folder on which everything about Frasky will be stored so <coughs> let me move here this is my local disk D inside the PyCharm uh, there is a folder special folder for storing Frasky application let me click then here let's create a folder let's name it comment yeah let's name it comment yeah comment something like this yeah this is project folder also let's move to desktop data science comment okay let's copy this folder and paste it in local disk d pycharm flasky so let's delete this folder and a copy this so this is our project folder it is just an action of shifting it copying from desktop to i mean to Py, my pycharm project folder for frasky app let's open so this is the structure of our folder the, the, we need data this is the folder on which data set are stored we need model this is a folder where model is stored we need a static folder static so in Frask static files are the files like images CSS and the JavaScript. So everything, uh, all of static files will be stored in static folder. They are called the static files be because they do not change in a project or they do not change in a web page. So our next folder is the templates. Templates. Uh, this folder will consist of will consist of dot uh, html files which are rendered by jinja engine which is special for rendering dot html files so this is the structure of our project folder we have data folder for storing data set we have model folder for storing model we dumped it in a disk we have a static folder for storing static files like images css and a javascript we have templates folder which is special for storing .html file this is just this is just a simple image of how uh, you are frasky app is looking like so let me create a python file let me open frasky then comment this is our project folder so let me create an empty an empty no 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 let me cross let me cross this okay let me hide it i need to create an empty python file 
and I'll name it model. Model. So in this file, will it will contain all uh, Python function in Flask and everything which will help us on learning a server. So that's it. This is your project folder and uh, how it looks like. So this is just uh, the end of our tutorial video. Uh, in next video we'll start to deal with static files like images, JavaScript, CSS. Also we will create a HTML file whereby they will be stored in our templates folder. Uh, just to remind you, if you have not installed Flask, just install Flask. Uh, I hope you are using PyCharm, so if you need to install Flask, open a terminal, then you will have, let me deactivate it. My terminal is in virtual environment. Deact, deactivate. Yeah. So <coughs> here you can install a Python by command pip install Flask. I hope something like this. Uh, I for if you have not installed yet Flask. <coughs> Ensure command here, people install Flask so that all packages in Flask can be installed. Yeah, here yeah, there are some few, uh, there are some few packages are being installed. Ginger is satisfied, as I told you that Ginger is our engine for rendering .html files in Flask. So this is the end of our tutorial on preparation of creating Flask app for deploying machine learning model. Do not miss in our next tutorial video on of our YouTube comment prediction tutorial series using machine learning as I told you that in the in next video we'll start the we'll start developing a, a Flask app where we'll deploy our model. Uh, to put a summary of what we have learned we have learned the structure only the structure of our project folder in Flask and the installation of a Flask by pip command. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, put a comment, and subscribe for next video update. Goodbye. See you in our next tutorial.